Hi viewers, welcome to the session once again. Have you ever observed any change takes place around you? I hope you might have observed so many changes. In winter season, rainfall, green leaves will dry and fall down during the summer season. And later seasons, also a change, regular change. And growth of a body is also a change. And you might be cooking food before cooking and after cooking. There is change. If I go on saying this, there are so many changes take place around us. Can we categorize those changes in based on something? Based on uh, uh, the shape, size and changing into a new product, bringing back into the original uh, state in that way. So in this session, let us try to see the different changes what they take place with a simple material only two changes two or three types of changes let us try to see with a simple material so here you can take a paper you see the paper here if i take this paper assume can we bring it to the original position here of course you may stick it but the forces acting between this will be different we cannot bring it back or we can recycle it and bake but it it is a change it is broken and if you try you can get its original position and here there is some wax here there is some wax if you heat this wax what happens it may change its state now the wax is in solid state if you heat it it turns into liquid if you go on heating it may turns into vaporized form but if the temperature is reduced what happens once again it will come into its original state so here the change which has come due to the heat when heat when it is cooled it will come to its original state if the change is in that way that change is called physical change only state of physical appearance is changing but the chemical is not changing so physical change only even you can take water water can be condensed to form ice or water can be heated to form water vapor but when those are cooled or heated, once again they come to their original state. This type of changes are called physical change. Physical changes. So now we shall observe whether wax takes the physical change or the chemical change. For that what I do is, just I took a spirit lamp, a bowl to uh, heat uh, wax. So I am letting the spirit lamp always spirit lamp is better to conduct the test because it uh, gives very less soot you can also do with candle but uh, soot is formed now you see I am heating it what will happen this wax melts and forms what it goes into water form liquid form can you see the liquid Yes, so plenty of liquid. So it is melting. Let us observe. Okay, so plenty of liquid. But is some some if you keep like this, you can feel hotness. Some of the wax is evaporated. Okay. Now let us cool for some time. Let us cool for some time. You keep that down. And later, now you take a paper. Already we have turned it. Now what you do is just try to burn. Can you observe this? It burned and gave ashes. It burned and gave ashes. Two different things with the temperature. One thing I melted. I gave heat to the wax. The another thing I gave 
I heated, I burnt paper. Paper completely changed shape. Not only the shape, it totally new compound is formed. It cannot be reversed back. The paper when we burnt, it cannot be reversed back. Or we cannot bring it to the original previous state. But after some time, this wax became once again wax. That means wax undergone only physical change where the paper undergone chemical change or permanent change to say another way permanent change. So most of the permanent changes are chemical changes only. Wax retains the same whereas paper has changed into new substance ashes. So we cannot bring it back. So now what you have to do is Observe different changes which are chemical and which are a physical. Physical change means only the appearance changes, but substance retains the same. Whereas chemical changes, new substance is formed, appearance changes and also material changes. Properties are different entirely from the um, previous material, the original material. In this way we can understand physical change and the chemical change. Now make a list and try to observe what are the physical changes taking in your kitchen and what are the chemical changes making in your kitchen. You might have observed rusting of iron. Is it a chemical change or a physical change? You might have observed perfume is moving, diffusing from place to place. Is it a physical change or a chemical change? Try to observe the changes what you see, what you observe around you and make a list of physical changes and chemical changes. Mm -hmm.